Hi everybody, last time we did a video, we talked about inviting customers to send us questions and uh, we do our best to answer them. And that is what we're gonna do today. So welcome to the first time we've done a Q&A segment. Um, this first question is by a gentleman named Alonso IG Martinez. And uh, his question is, can you discuss your preferred lapel and tie proportions? Um, so, Mr. Martinez, uh, when it comes to lapels, there is a standard. The standard is um, from here to here, so from the edge of the jacket lapel to the edge of your shoulder should be about halfway. That's like roughly the standard. And then for various style reasons, you can err either way. You can be narrower, you can be wider, but typically that is where you wanna aim for. And for instance, at the Armory, we do typically aim for that. So for instance, on our Model 3, um, I've brought all these in size 48, by the way, because obviously the lapel size will vary depending on the jacket size. But on the Model 3, this is really about as close to standard as you get. So this is about nine centimeters. Um, and then what I'm wearing right now, or as you can see here, this is the Model 11. This is the narrowest lapel that we've done, and this is eight and a half centimeters. And then on something like this, which is an Orazio Luciano sport coat and a very sort of opulent Italian style, this is 10 centimeters. So this is definitely erring on the, on the wide side. And you can see already based on like how close that is to the edge of the shoulder, um, whereas the narrower style is kind of a throwback to American style from the 50s and the 60s. I quite like it, it's not to everyone's taste, but I personally quite like it. Uh, and then the Model 3 uh, really is the everyman. Like it just works for everybody, it looks great, it's timeless, you know, no one can be like, oh, you're too fashion forward or not fashion forward enough or blah, blah. Um, regarding tie widths, so I brought three ties out today to show you. This is a seven and a half, this is an eight, and this is an eight and a half. And on, I would say that really you should try and stick to the lapel width or narrower for your ties. You know, if this was a seven centimeter lapel with a 10 centimeter tie, that would look kind of ridiculous and vice versa as well. Um, so with this, right, this is a nine centimeter lapel. Uh, I think any of these are fine, you know? Like obviously this is relatively skinny, but visually speaking, it's still, you know, it still makes sense. It's still okay. And you know, this is on the opposite side of the spectrum. But again, it still works, right? Now, let's have a look at these examples. Oops, about to drop something. Let's have a quick look at these examples. With this, with a Model 11, so this is our eight and a half, cent eight and a half centimeter lapel. Uh, so the narrow tie looks great. Seven and a half centimeters with this sort of narrow lapel, I think looks really good, totally into that. And it's also very sort of period correct. I mean, it's, um, it was the style of the 50s and 60s. The eight centimeter works okay too. I quite like that. But actually, by the time you get to eight and a half, I already feel like, oh, it's a little, it's a little chunky, you know? Like that's why I think that typically your tie should be a little bit narrower in, than your lapel, because I do find this just a little bit chunky. And finally, if we look at this Orazio Luciano with the 10 centimeter lapel, the narrow tie is okay. It actually does feel a little bit, a little bit small in comparison to the rest of the lapel. Eight is great. And actually, I think this jacket really comes into its own with this, with this kind of full eight and a half centimeter width of tie. I actually really like that together. I think that's wonderful. So there you go. Um, general rule of thumb is a little bit smaller than the lapel size is ideal. Um, if you're a size 48, around my size, uh, you know, anything from around seven and a half to eight and a half should work well. Um, if you are larger than me, if you are say a size 54, 56, whatever, then obviously you could go up to nine, nine and a half, maybe even 10 centimeters if you were so inclined. Um, and 
your lapel would correspondingly increase in size as well anyways. So there you go. I hope that was helpful. If you have any other follow-up questions, feel free to leave it in the comments. And that's it for now. Thanks for watching.